Hi guys, welcome back to WebJetta. So in this one, we are going to discuss how to add GraphQL or how to use GraphQL in Svelte. Now GraphQL has a lot of advantages over REST API. I'm not going to go through those in this one. I'm going to start off with how to use uh, GraphQL in Svelte right away. So there are many clients that you can use. You need a client to access, uh, to make request and get data from GraphQL endpoint. So there are clients like Apollo or UOQL. I'm going to use something uh, very minimal here, which is called GraphQL request, All right? So I'm also going to use some um, public API that is available instead of creating my own. So let's start. Uh, I, I will install um, SwellKit here next uh, and uh, that should do it that should install it in this folder uh, it be. I'll use skeleton project and everything is no I will install all the dependencies all right uh, I will also open this in VS code and uh, finally I will serve this okay it is serving so I'll go back here and should be running yep we have it uh, now in order to use this uh, graphql request so we'll have to install these two um, dependencies uh, graphql you know you need that uh, this is graphql request so let me copy that we'll go back here i will split this you can stop this and do it i'll just install these All right, that is done. Um, now they have an example here to start off quickly. So I'll just copy that and I'll go here and find an index. I will have a script tag here and paste everything. I think that should be fine. So let's see. Okay, so it, it has some issue. Uh, let me check what that is. Maybe I have to restart the server. All right, it did start. So since this was like in console log, so maybe we have it here. And it says connection refused. Um, well, maybe this URL has some issue. If it does, uh, I'll, I'll use something else. Um, let's see uh, this countries. This seems interesting. Um, okay, so I want the name and emoji as given here. Um, if you have something else, you know, change it to this maybe or whatever you want. I just want these two. So I'll copy this um, URL use that instead of uh, whatever we had there and query also i will have to get and replace that okay let's see if we get it mm, i'll have to restart again okay and yes we got the countries so what I will do is I will make this into a context module script right away since we know it's working already. So I will have a load function. I will um, you know make this query inside the load function load load holds. And uh, we don't need anything else, I think. So I'll just uh, get this entire thing here. We don't need a dot then because we'll be using uh, asynchronous function. We'll have await here and also we'll make this load function asynchronous. In that case, then data and everything is not required. Now, once we get the data, we'll have to pass it as props. So return props here, data. And that can be received here with a normal script export let data and 
I'll print this out. Stringify. This will be huge, I think, but that's fine for now. It's undefined for now. Refresh. Okay, so I'm getting it. Uh, I have to have a, each uh, loop here and show it. So let me remove this and I'll have a title as countries. Now each um, data dot countries, I think. Is that so? Yeah. Countries as country. And I'll uh, end this each. Now country can be destructured into a name and emoji. So those are the things in this object. So I'll just do that here for name. Emoji. Okay. So inside I'll have a P tag with the emoji first so that you know the flag shows up first, space and then name. I think that should do it. I'll just uh, comment this out and let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm getting uh, all those 250 countries here. Now, is this pre-rendered? Let's look at that. Um, right now, I don't see it as, okay, I see the JSON thing. Now, if I wrap this here, yep, it's, it's all there in the DOM. So it's countries and then all this, it's pre-rendered. So yeah, guys, this is how you can use uh, GraphQL in, uh, in SwellKit. So this is the most basic one. I might do some more videos on it or maybe use some other client. Uh, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.